Hello, welcome back to my channel, Ask MCT Chris. In this session, we're going to look at one of the new features of Power BI, which we call Field Parameters. Stay tuned. Before we start, let's look at my intro. So this is the report that we're going to create today. You can see in here I have a slicer and I have not chosen anything in my slicer and this is just a simple matrix and if you look at the rows of the matrix it is the same as in my slicer. So I have the country, if I will expand the country, I have the state, if I will expand the state I have the city and if I will expand the city I have the category and then if I'll expand the category I have the brand so the category in the brand is taken from the products table and the country state and city is coming from the customers table so how did I do that I did it using fields parameter so that's what we're going to create I'm just going to duplicate this page rename this page oops rename that page to demo and I'm just going to delete the field in my slicer and in my matrix I'm going to also delete the rows so how do we create that field parameter? We need to go into the modeling tab of our Power BI and we can see in here new parameter which was named what if parameter before. Drop down the arrow and choose the fields. You can rename the field. I'm just going to take the name of the parameter and you can now drag and drop the fields into this section. So uh, from the customers table, I'm going to drag the country, I'm going to drag the state, and I can also drag the city. And from my products table, I'm going to drag the category and also the brand. You will notice that the add slicer to this page is selected, but I'm going to untick that because I have now a slicer in my page. So all I need to do is hit the create button and that's it. I will expand the parameter and then drag the parameter onto my slicer so I do have those values now and in my matrix I'll just need to put that parameter onto the rows of the matrix and that works wonder. And if I will choose more than one I have that hierarchy too. Now, if you wanted to modify this field parameter now, you need to modify the formula because this created a calculated table. Say, for example, I wanted to create a categorization like the country, state, and city are coming from the customers and then the category and brand I wanted a category of let's say products because I can see that this was do this were taken from the product table. So all I need to do is modify the formula and I'm just going to add in here customers close bracket comma and I will just copy that and paste this here and similarly and in here too but I need to change this to products and also in here products and then I'll parse the formula and I will just have to fix this oh, I have an extra comma in there so here we go that's the value 
I just need to drag that value onto the field of my slicer and there you go I've got now a header and I will also just need to choose the products and that is chosen if I'll choose the customer the customer is also sliced and if I will choose let's say just the brand and the country then I've got the brand and the country which is I chose the brand first that's why the brand is here and then the country if I will choose let's say the state first and then the category then I've got a state and there is that category in there we have just seen how to use field parameters in our Power BI reports Field parameters is not part of our model, it is just in the visualization of our Power BI. I hope you like this session. If you like it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe for more tips and tricks from me. Thank you for watching.